chapter 20 says something very powerful. And you got to understand if you're in the kingdom, you're not in the kingdom by coincidence. Yes. Come on, somebody. No, 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 no. God didn't pick you by coincidence. He picked you to win. Hallelujah. Amen. It don't matter the team that you was on before when you weren't saved. It don't matter what family you came from. It don't matter your pedigree. It don't matter your background. It don't matter your educational level. That does not matter to God. What matters the most is that you heard him call you. If you understand the power Bishop, Bishop. of the call. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Watch yes. me now. Watch yes. me now. Matthew yes. 20, verse 16. Watch. Tell your neighbor to call. Watch the call. Oh. See, see, see when, when people start questioning, amen, what God is doing in your life. Say, listen to me. Let me explain something to you real clearly. God called me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God called me. You don't understand. God called me. I was busy sinning. Yes. You didn't hear what I said. Yes. I was busy sinning yes. when God called me. Yes. But I heard him call my name. He didn't call nobody else. I heard him call my name. He didn't call my, my, my cousin. We was all in a group, but I heard him call my name. He didn't do a group calling. He called my name. And if God called me, I stepped out of what I was in, walked in something different. So who are you to question me? Because God called me. God called me. God called me. Tell people, listen to you. This is a God thing. Don't worry about nothing. Don't be trying to uh, analyze, amen, what God doing in my life. God called me, and who God called, the Bible says in Romans, He justified. The know who He justified, can't nobody condemn. You got to understand if God be for us, who can be? Let God call me. Don't you worry about where I came from. Don't you worry about what I used to do. That's in the past. What matters the most is I understand the call that's on my life. He called me. He called me. He called me. He didn't have to call me. But thank God I heard him. Come on, somebody. He called my name. Hallelujah. Uh, don't you know how happy Lazarus was down in that grave when he heard him say, out of all the dead people that laying around, when he heard him say, Lazarus, come forth. Man, I bet you everybody who was down there laying in the grave was envious of Lazarus because he didn't call no other name. He said, Lazarus. Hallelujah. I bet you that's said, man, I'm getting ready to leave all this dead stuff. I'm getting ready to walk back on the earth. I'm getting ready to do my kingdom assignment. Man, I heard God. He can call you from wherever you are. He can call you from the grave. Yes. Yes. In other words, he can call you out of some dead stuff. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Dead folk all around you. Dead situation. Some people want you to stay dead, but when you hear God call your name, you can't help Somebody. You can't help but get up. Hallelujah. When you hear him call your name, you can't help get out of your mess. You can't help but get out of your situation because you know God is calling you to something greater that you ever experienced in your life and you refuse to stay where you used to be because you know God got something greater in store for you. He didn't get sent or met your family. Hallelujah. When you look at the translation, that's what it says in the, in, in, in the message Bible. It says he called Joshua by name. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Joshua. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't want everybody. I didn't call Caleb. I called Joshua. Yes. Hallelujah. When you hear God, you can't help but move. Yes. You can't help but move. Yes. You didn't call everybody. That's why you ain't got no business trying to take everybody. Yes. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't take everybody to the place that God ordained for you to be here. Everybody ain't qualified to be where you are. Hallelujah. Everybody don't have a position where you are. Everybody don't have a right to be where you are. You are special to God. That's the problem Abraham had when God told him to get out from among his children. He still had a problem bringing people with him. Listen here, you in the place now where you can't take everybody, even if they family. Sometimes you got to cut the name that bills are called. Sometimes you got to step in the line. Baby, I can't take you in this place because you ain't ready for this place. 